transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Soul Edge, a legendary sword and devourer of souls. Buried in the darkest reaches of history, it was brought back to light in the 16th century. The notorious pirate Cervantes claimed the sword as his own, setting everything into motion. Soul Edge adapted itself to its new owner by splitting into two. Possessed by the evil weapons, Cervantes began a bloody reign of terror, slaying all those seeking the swords without prejudice. Cervantes was eventually undone. Under the protection of Hephaestus, the god of smithing, a female warrior named Sophitia was able to destroy one of the swords. Shards of the blade flew and lodged into her body, causing near mortal wounds. Seeing his chance, Cervantes raised his sword to deliver the final blow. Suddenly, there appeared a ninja known as Taki, who rescued the wounded warrior. Taki defeated Cervantes in a battle to the death before carrying the injured Sophitia away. However, one of Soul Edge's two blades still remained. Perhaps it was fate. The blade fell into the hands of Siegfried, whose mind was twisted and unwell. of rampant evil, the evil seed. No one could have predicted it would become a catalyst for catastrophe across the world. Our story takes place in the 16th century. Well, shit, fellas. I'm, uh, I haven't done this yet. But with this game, I'm gonna run y'all through. In a, uh, a solo story play. I know, I know. Everyone wants to see Soul Calibur's story. But, uh, I mean, it just gave us a hell of a backstory. So, I guess that's where we're gonna start. I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't the plan. So let me see, let me see what we're doing first. To my stories, each individual character, as well as the main tale of the kiss of the task, we gather the great original character set forth an adventure into the world where you experience the legend of this kind of sword from a different soul's perspective. Oh, shit. Um, I don't know. Do I need to make my own character? Run through is them. It's, it's an important question. Run through is them. We'll, 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 we'll get the first perspective. And maybe I'll run through as the, uh, the personal character later. Maybe not. Depending. Main story. Let's go. Chronicle 1. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Oh, okay, this is the same thing we, we just Edge, watched. A legendary sword and devourer of souls. So, uh, can I skip Buried this? in the darkest reaches of history, make us watch it, again. it was brought back to light in the 16th century. Oh, wait, is this the same? The notorious pirate Cervantes claimed the sword yeah, as his own, setting everything into motion. Come on, you just made me watch. Soul there you Edge go. adapted it. I would have known they were doing this. I wouldn't have uh, started in the beginning. They're screwing me all kinds of up. Doing kept sense. Yeah, we know. We know. Chronicle of Souls 2: The Lingxing Su Tragedy. And the evil seed eliminated from the cursed blade on fear of day in Spain. It was loose to white light. Fifteen lights far and wide, even as far as the field of Ling Xing Su. Let's go find out who Ling Xing Su is. It's been a, a long time. Fell this place. 
much I play in these games. Ling Shen Su Temple was a famous martial arts school in the far reaches of China. It was there Killick learned to master the staff after he was a oh boy as a child. Killick ate and slept with the other students and began his training at a young age. Despite this, he established a family-like bond with just one other student, Shang Len, a young girl who was like an elder sister to him. Dedicated to the way of the sword, she looked after Killick as if they were siblings. So close was their bond that when one felt happy or sad, the other would feel the same. Together they studied and grew as warriors. The years passed by. Killick's skill earned him a place as a teacher, an honorable position for one so young. Throughout the ages, Ling Sheng Su Temple had kept hold of the three sacred treasures, Krita Yuga, Devapara Yuga, and Kali Yuga. Killick's years of arduous training earned him the title of rightful bearer of the staff, Kali Yuga. Likewise, Shang Len was also designated bearer of Devapara Yuga, a sacred mirror. None of those look like mirrors to me. Our story begins on the night before the ritual for passing the treasures on to their new masters. All right. Shang Lin, can I ask you something? Sure. How come you were chosen to bear Devapara Yuga? <sighs> I thought you'd get Krita Yuga. Yeah, come After on. all, you've dedicated your life to the sword. <sighs> Is all you can say, woman? Kalek, this is not easy for me to talk about, uh -oh. but I'm going to try. Made a soft spot. The Krita Yuga, it's no longer at Ling Shang Su. Say what? The sword has been gone for more than a decade. Say what? All that's left is the Kali Yuga and the Devapara Yuga. Really? Who's that? Surprised? Well, there's more. Oh, my the one goodness. who stole the Krita Yuga was none other than my father. My That's why I don't gosh. have the right to bear it. If I were to accept the sword, everyone would be up in arms. That's but, why, even though it was offered to me, I decided to decline. I, I thought you said we don't have it. Of course, it. I love Ling Shang Su, and I do wish to see my studies through to their conclusion. It's just, I, I just don't want the sacred treasures, or my status as a sacred bearer, or anything else to hold me back. You know what the monks say. Do I? Fate, Fate is, is carved, carved with, with your, your own hands. hands. Oh shit. When I spoke to them about that, they decided to let me bear Devapara Yuga instead. Now I can feel proud that I'm a sacred bearer just like you. Mm -hmm. Um, you know something, Killick? What? Hope <coughs> uh, she's doing it again. It's okay. Never mind. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Me too. <sighs> and so it was. Killick and Shang Len were set to attend the official ritual for becoming sacred bearers. But the night before the ritual. A terrible calamity plunged everything into chaos. Drawn by the Kali Yuga in Killick's hand, the evil seed came to Ling Shen Su Temple. The monks, driven insane by the evil force, began slaying each other, turning the temple into hell on earth. Those well, aren't really good monks, now are they? Done. I don't know. Hello. How? It looked like it hurt. Well, that looked like it hurt. I don't understand. Everyone, stop this madness.
Um. Oh gosh, disciple. How do I? How do I do this? Oh my gosh, it's it's it's, it's a lot. Oh, I did something. Oh, well, stop it. Alright, alright, fellas, I think I got this. Oh, maybe not. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Stop that. Hey. There we go. Ah, hit them all so far away. Hit this boy. Bad is like bad. Get beat for your, your punishment. How dare you attack me? Succumb to the forces of evil. <laughs> What's going on? It's kill or be killed. What a monk thing to think. Uh oh. Shang Lin. Oh no. Get a hold of yourself, Shang Lin. Be my ass. God. Oh. Oh. Shang Lin. No, oh, I think I think we I think we killed our killed a lady friend. She looked pretty dead, honestly. Well, I guess that's. That's, that's story number one. That wasn't a lot for me. Uh, I will see y'all next video. Should be number three. They're going to be a little bit shorter apparently than I thought they were. We're, we're all, I'll see if I'll make them longer depending on how things go. I'll see y'all next time.